Alrighty, so I just wanted to do this video real quick because I just got the chance to play the Fallout 4 Next Gen updates. And uh, I have to say, this is one of the updates of all time. First off, we're going to go ahead and look at this audio desync. I restarted the game and tried it again, and this is something that happened to me. I think the underlying issue is because of the uncapped FPS with the widescreen mode, but let's just go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You... Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. And so I just wanted to add in real quick, I, I did look it up and I have FreeSync enabled, which should cap the FPS, but it looks like it's not doing it here, which is resulting in this issue. I've seen a couple of posts on like Reddit of people having this issue and not being able to fix it with things like V-Sync and FreeSync, which are supposed to be like what caps your FPS and reduces screen tearing and everything. But I guess even when people were able to get it work, like items and things like that were still flying around at like Mach 10 <laughs> because the FPS like essentially is linked to how fast like everything in the game world is. So I, I just really think this is like a super funny update and I, I just found it really entertaining to be honest. It, it felt like you were playing like a movement shooter. I felt like I was playing Doom 2016 with how fast I was moving around and the Raiders were moving. Uh, it, just in general, this is honestly really like, this is like fun bad almost. So I, I just think it's super hilarious that this is the, I guess this is the state of the update for some people on like super high end PCs uh, that, you know, are having this issue. Or maybe it's just AMD in general. I saw, I saw a couple people that say VSync, which is like the AMD equivalent. I'm sorry, the NVIDIA equivalent saying that they were having these issues as well. But I've also seen other videos of people running this on 4090s just fine. I've looked through the settings and I've tried to change them and tone them down a little bit to see like what would happen and I'm just getting the same result. So overall, uh, yeah, this is interesting. And as you can see here, Nora is now running around at the speed of sound because the FPS cap is causing the animations to run at like five times speed. I've never had this happen before. I believe it has to do with the next gen update. It may be Fallout 4 in general, but uh, this is a fresh install with nothing on it. And I haven't seen anyone post this issue yet. I'll look into it a little bit more, but I just thought this was hilarious. I think it's pretty funny that they did this next gen update with uh, it pretty much invalidated a lot of mods, including the uh, really anticipated Fallout London, which was set to come out today. And now we have this update, which I am not sure if this is just the widescreen mode, but this just seems super interesting to me that this is uh, this is the result of the update. The update itself actually looks really nice, and I think that the graphical clarity is like a super good thing, but I just think it's hilarious, these like FPS issues. I've never heard of this being an issue with Fallout 4 in general. I know in the original Fallout, Fallout 1 and 2, uh, not one, I believe it was just two actually, but the random encounter meter was actually controlled by your FPS. So if your FPS is higher, you would get into more random encounter fights because essentially it was made for old PCs. So everything was running at like 30, uh, 30 FPS pretty much as like the baseline. And now this comes out and I just really wanted to share this. You see like NPCs running around like Sonic in the scene <laughs> with the fucking vault. <laughs> you just see Catlog come in like the Terminator and they're all like fast forward. Oh my God, this is just, this is just so funny. I thought this was hilarious coming off a of fresh install to see this like whole hyped up next gen update. Uh, but I mean, so far, I really haven't seen many good things about it other than just like, hey, it looks nicer. But uh, I haven't seen anyone posting these like FPS animation issues. I don't know if like 
me having it set to ultra like somehow bricked the game but this was this was just really funny and i think it's just a another classic bethesda game fail which uh it, it's just great it's funny to watch i'm sure it'll be fixed soon uh i i don't really foresee this being like a constant issue at least i hope not but my guess is it's something to do with the widescreen mode mixed with the very high FPS because I'm playing on a 7900 XTX uh, with a 7800 3D uh, CPU. And I just thought it was really funny to watch this because, man, this is just one of the next gen updates of all time. I swear, Bethesda can't catch a single break when it comes to updating their games and making new things. But if you're enjoying the next gen update and it's uh, it's working for you properly, then, you know, good for you guys. I hope it's uh, I hope it's fun. I hope you're enjoying the game. But I just wanted to make this silly little video kind of showing this off. Uh, maybe if you are like interested and you have a like a good PC with a widescreen monitor, maybe wait until this patch is up. Uh, I'll keep track of it and see if it's something that they fix manually or if it's like something I have to mod and fix the game. But uh, yeah, just wanted to make this silly little video so you guys could see this. All right. Have a good night piece or day whatever time it is for you also if you're new to the channel and like this kind of content please be sure to like comment subscribe all that cool shit okay now goodbye